Mitchell. Yes. Tap your microphone. That's working. So funny, Mitchell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Basically, I have a genetical disorder, as it were, central vision loss, and then over time it just spreads and spreads. There's so much waddle overgrown the thingy, Majiggy. Biggest rock explosion ever. So what's the best thing about this place? Probably just it being quiet, you know, without any distractions. So you can just do what you want to do, eat food, you'd explore, build something. You don't have to do it with all the commotion around you. So basically, I try and observe what I, whatever I can where I am, and then try and avoid whatever's going to be dangerous. But then I also try and remember whatever I ride past so that when I ride there again, I know that it's there so I don't go towards it. So yeah. Imagine you have kind of a tennis ball sized object. It doesn't move, but it it's stationary, but wherever my eyes go, it goes. So if I was looking at a teacher and they had a whiteboard behind them and I look at their nose, it would look like they didn't have a head and it was just a whiteboard behind them. But in the very middle, like with textures and stuff, what I would see would be a plain color of all those details. Usually, everyone everyone um, has that like the stage lights in their eyes, and the crowd is kind of like hard to see because of all that. But for me, I don't have that pressure of seeing the audience and being like, "Oh, they might look at me funny," because I don't see them, so I forget about them. So I can just be me and do what I like. Chris, where is that sandwich? I haven't told you about my other theory. <laughs> So basically, at night time, my vision kind of does a funny thing where, because there's lack of colour and brightness, it kind of gets confused and puts colour in there. So I see a bunch of flashes of colour and like fireworks pretty much. And it kind of just dances around in my vision. It's fun to just watch the colours and see what they do. I guess I have something that can, like, that makes me, me now. Like, I'm not just another average dude. Like, I have something unique that's pretty good. And I think that's made my life more full, in a way. It's just what I got, so don't waste time being sad about it. Just make it part of your life and make it a good thing. Yeah, that's what I think.